now i know what you're gonna say they say it without a calculator but guess what i will use a calculator but you have to use it clever so that the examiner doesn't see or doesn't know that you use the calculator because these are special angles you have a right to know what is cost 30 but obviously you forgot so you take a calculator and say cost 30 find out what it is it's root 3 over 2 you just write it like that so here is negative square root of 3 over 2 you have a right to know okay bracket 1045 i'll show you where they catch you if ever you're using a calculator but let's continue so far so good then 1045 is equal to 1 this one is not a problem it's negative 1 that you always maintain your negative they see that and then all over negative now let's go to sign 60 uh, if uh, sign 60 sign 60 is equal to same thing root 3 over 2 so root 3 over 2 put it in brackets it will help and then cos 60 let's go for cos 60 but if you know special angles you'll know that cos 60 then is half as I'm saying, you see, you can know that it's 1 over 2. Now let us look at question 5.2 as I said previously we are done with this 5.1 here we just did 5.1 it was uh, a question that needed us to solve that and then now I could have actually proven that in the previous lesson but anyway this is a lesson for another day let us look at question um, 5.2 question 5.2 says we need to simplify without see simplify without using a calculator now the moment they mention these things you know what I'm tempted to do I'm tempted to grab the calculator and find out what is it that they're trying to hide from me so let's use the calculator first so what do I have it's cos when they say don't use guys that's when you have to use it okay so be careful how you, you you enter this in the calculator now it's cos 210 close the bracket it says dot you put times 10 135 you close the bracket the calculator opens the bracket you close it and then go down it says sign negative 60 uh, then you close the bracket and then dot which means times cos what 420 and then you close that let's find out what it gives me it gives me a negative 2 so this is just minus 2 guess what I just have to, I already know the answer so now I need to work towards this minus 2 what did they get minus 2 from now when you are working on such a question what I do is I go back to my cast diagram remember as we said this is 0 this is 90 180 270 and 360 a very important um, cast diagram why is it called cast diagram it's all students take chemistry why i love chemistry guys all right so when i've got this cast there is the c a s t cast diagram you must know how to uh, write that and then the, this quadrant you start from quadrant one this is quadrant one you go to quadrant two it goes anti-clockwise you are going anti-clockwise so this is quadrant three and this is quadrant four so when you're saying all students take chemistry we are talking about sine cos and ten where they are positive so you see in the quadrant two it's only sine positive quadrant three is only ten and quadrant four is only cos and then you need to know the reduction rules in quadrant um mainly 
let's focus on quadrant 2 it's 180 minus theta y because it's just before 180 we're going backwards and then this one is after 180 it becomes 180 plus theta but the fourth quadrant is before 360 so it will be 360 minus theta i'm gonna maintain it like that and forget about the 90 90 part um when you're given that then you can do it now look at this if i give you cos 210 with the reduction rules these are now reduction rules i have to ask myself where do i find cos 210 i find it in the third quadrant that's where i can get 210 is after 180 but before 270 so what do i do i look at the reduction rule and say the reduction rule says cos 180 degrees plus what what number must i add so that i can get uh 210 i must add 30 you must maintain so it's a it's a matter of separating the two you just say 210 minus 180 it will give you 30 that's why i got 30 okay so don't think it's uh, a number that you got it somewhere uh so it's just a matter of you being able to to recall where did i get it look at this 210 minus 180 that's where i got the 30 okay so don't just let it confuse you so when i've gotten that number 30 i ask myself what is cos in the third quadrant you see 10 is only positive meaning cos will be what negative so this becomes minus cos that number that i i use there minus cos 30 degrees that's how you do what is called the reduction rules but what am i using the cast diagram let's go on to the next one tan uh this is 10 135 again you ask yourself which quadrant it's in quadrant number two that's where i find 135 and there was the reduction rule 180 minus theta so this is becoming 180 degrees what number must i subtract so that i get 135 subtract these two numbers it will give you the number so if i subtract those two numbers 180 minus 135 you always start with the bigger number it's 45 so if i subtract 45 from 180 it will give me what it will give me 135 so from there what is 10 only sign is positive meaning 10 is negative so it's negative tan 45 degrees reduction rules guys next one is sine negative 60 so if i say sine minus 60 this one negative angles mustn't trick you when we're talking about negative angles let me come back to my cast diagram now negative angles meaning you are changing rotation you are now moving from anti-clockwise you are now moving clockwise you see so when you're moving clockwise the first place you're gonna land is quadrant number what quadrant number four that's where you're going to land and in quadrant number four which one is only positive it's cos what about sine it's negative so first thing first is to say if since we are in the fourth quadrant it becomes negative sine that angle now which is sine 60 since 60 is smaller than 90 already we can leave it like that so you don't have to do anything further if it was above 90 then we have to further reduce that using the normal anti-clockwise way okay the next one is cos 420 see they are just bringing in different uh reduction ways you can so this one is not even difficult you are like but it's confusing why 420 because there is no 420 in the in the in the in the cast diagram not a difficult you say cos remember the full revolution you start from zero you round you go back it will be 360 so you start and say 360 plus what what number must you add to 360 to get 420 you subtract the two numbers remember i always say choose the bigger number so i say 420 minus the full revolution or complete cycle which is 360 i get 60 and then you ask what's the reduction rule since i rounded of a complete revolution all of them will end up being quadrant number one positive so this is simple cos 60 or cos whatever number even if it's above 60 is still fine it's a complete revolution the moment you say 360 plus you must know that it is a complete revolution and all of them are positive 
So this will be cost 60. Now, if I come back and write these, but now I'm not going to be writing cost to 10. I'll be writing now the reduced one. So this will be equal to now cost to 10 became minus cost 30. Now put it in brackets like this. And then after that, cost, I mean, 10, 135 became minus 10, 45. And then over sine negative 60, it became negative sine 60. And then what else? Cost 420 became cost 60. What are these now? These are special angles. Now I know what you're going to say. They say it without a calculator, but guess what? I will use a calculator, but you have to use it clever so that the examiner doesn't see or doesn't know that you use the calculator. Because these are special angles, you have a right to know what is cost 30, but obviously you forgot. So you take a calculator and say cost 30, find out what it is. It's root 3 over 2. You just write it like that. So here is negative square root of 3 over 2. You have a right to know. Okay, bracket. 1045 I'll show you where they catch you if ever you're using a calculator but let's continue so far so good then 1045 is called to 1 this one is not a problem it's negative 1 that you always maintain your negative they see that and then all over negative now let's go to sign 60 uh, if uh, sign 60 sign 60 is equal to same thing root 3 over 2 so root 3 over 2 put it in brackets it will help and then cos 60 let's go for cos 60 but if you know special angles you'll know that cos 60 then is half as I'm saying you see you can know that it's 1 over 2 and then that's it then you have to simplify you see, negative root 3, negative root 3 cancels. So you have got minus 1 over 1 over 2. Then the answer becomes negative 2. So it's like minus 1 divided by half. That's all you're having. So you've got negative, let me do this, negative 1 over 0, 0,5 or over 1 over 2. Then the answer becomes negative 2. Remember, that's what we got here. That's what gave us negative 2. So you see the, how we approach these guys. You can have the answer, work towards the answer, so that you're in a position to say, I definitely know this is correct. You don't have to second guess. You can mark yourself like you can see here. I've already marked myself. I don't have to go out of the exam thinking, I hope, I hope. You can't be hoping in such. You need to know. I know that I got it right. Whatever the case, that is my marks on my bank. I cannot lose that. So that's what I'm trying to say, guys. So we have come to the end again of this section. I'm bringing it. I'm cutting it in 24 minutes lesson or le less so that you guys can have enough time to digest it at a moment. So now, while you're watching this series of video, I will have a part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. If you are new and you just got this one, it means you missed 5.1. Look for 5.1. And then from here, I'm going to 5.3. To me, it is a one video that I'm doing, but uh, I'm sitting in one session doing these videos. I'm not doing it and stopping the next day and doing it. I'm doing it once. Now, question 5.1 to 5.4, but I'm breaking it into manageable uh, sections so that you guys can do at a moment, get it done, and then move on at another time. Do it again while you're still able to maximize it. Remember? If you sit too long doing the same studying, after 30 minutes or 24 minutes to say, you will lose concentration. But to get better concentration, watch these videos in small pockets. Even if it's 5 minutes, that's good. Just study for 5 minutes, get the concept, move on to something different. After 5 minutes, come back again now to the next question, maybe 5.3. Do it. If it's 10 minutes, that's fine. Go out come back again and do the next one. So that's why I'm saying it is going to be very, very beneficial to you. Unlike someone who says, I'm going to sit for two hours watching this video. Trust me, in the next 24 minutes, the rest that you're doing sometimes is just a waste of time. You're just a spectator watching a movie and I'm the actor there, you know, 
but I'm not an actor to you, you know. I am your tutor. So don't sit there losing concentration, going on your WhatsApp, losing, getting bored, you know. Break them into small managing parts. Okay, guys, enough of what I've said. But don't forget, it's very important to keep subscribing. You guys, you need to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified every time I'm posting such continuation of these videos. If you're not subscribed, unfortunately, you're going to miss out a lot. This channel is made with you in mind. So now, I'm going to look at 5.3. We are proving this identity. Now, again, I say if you're coming here for the first time, I have already done 5.2. Now, you need to do look at the video previously. But if you're subscribed, you haven't seen, YouTube would have notified you that there is a 5.2 video, watch it. But if you're not subscribed, unfortunately, that's why you are searching this channel, trying to find out uh, where are the next videos. So now, look at the previous video, then we can look at 5.3. It says we need to prove the identity. 